Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library and this is my fortnightly Librarian Recommends video. Do look out for it every other Thursday at two o'clock. When the library is open, you can of course come in to borrow books. But if we are closed, did you know that you can also download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app 24 seven? Just download the app and register with your library details and away you go. There will be a selection of ebook and e-audio suggestions in this video. So keep watching to see which ones you fancy dipping into. Today's are all about diverse lives. And as this suggests, there are a wide selection to choose from with stories from all around the world. These first suggestions are all available as e-books via RB Digital. First is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. This is a deeply moving family saga set in Korea and Japan, following four generations of a Korean family, beginning in the early 1900s. It starts with Sunja, the daughter of a poor but well-respected family, whose unplanned pregnancy threatens to bring shame upon them. When she discovers that the baby's father already has a wife, she refuses to be his mistress and instead finds unexpected salvation when a kind, sickly minister offers to marry her and bring her to Japan. Throughout the story, we see the consequences of this choice. We see the hardship and discrimination the characters face as Korean immigrants in a hostile country. But we also see the resilience and perseverance and strong bonds of love of this family as they deal with the things that life hands out to them. Min Jin Lee writes with graceful, candid, simple prose, and I was drawn into the lives of the characters as they came off the page, each with their deep emotions and complex motivations. Next up is There There by Tommy Orange. This story charts the experience of 12 diverse Native Americans in Oakland. All are preparing to go to the big Oakland powwow, but for different reasons. One young boy wants to go to the powwow to dance. Others wish to reunite with family or to film Native Americans telling their stories. Some even plan to rob the powwow. Each short chapter is told from a different point of view. Each character carries their own distinct voice and yet one by one their stories become interlinked. There are stories of violence, of the search for identity, of poverty, and addiction and loss, of family and community. And Tommy Orange really shows the many facets of being Native American today. My next suggestion is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. This book was brilliant and incredibly hard to put down. It is more than a harrowing war story and more of a childhood disrupted and a coming of age story. Anthony Doerr tells two parallel stories set during World War II of two children as they grow up in different places. In Nazi Germany, a bright, perceptive, sensitive orphan boy named Werner lives in a children's home. He has a deep love of science. His talent for fixing radios is noticed and he finds himself in the Hitler Youth Academy. In Paris, there is intuitive, clever Marie Law a blind girl living with her father. She has a deep love of reading. Her locksmith father constructs a detailed scale miniature model of their neighbourhood to help her visualise and memorise her surroundings. Each of their stories are poignant, especially when their paths eventually cross. I was captivated by the beautiful writing, fell in love with many of the characters and was deeply moved by the glimpses of how people touched others' lives during the mess of war. My final suggestion is Dementia from the Inside by Dr Jennifer Butte. This is an insightful, informative and inspirational autobiography. Jennifer Butte was a highly qualified senior doctor whose clients included those with dementia. She then noticed symptoms in herself and was finally diagnosed with young onset dementia. 
The observant medical professional in her shines through as she discusses dementia, sharing her personal experience and other case studies. This is an easy short read. Dr Butte writes in a caring pastoral way as if she's speaking to you. She includes practical advice and challenges how people view dementia. Dr Butte also writes as a Christian of coming to grips with her dementia and how this relates to her faith. The next suggestions are all available as e-audiobooks. Listening to a book is a different experience to reading and one you might enjoy. It can be a really immersive experience. First up is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This is a love story that involves around Ephemelu and Obince and their on-off relationship over time and distance. They first met in Nigeria and fall in love. Ifemelu moves to the United States to study and starts a blog dealing with race issues in America. Obince hoped to join her, but is refused a visa after 9-11. He moves to London instead and ends up becoming an illegal immigrant. Over a decade later, they reunite, reunite in Nigeria. The discussions and observations in the story are thought-provoking, exploring issues of race, hair, identity, the differences between American blacks and non-American blacks living in America, the changes immigrations go through to try to fit in, and the psychological impact this can have. How about A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth? This dramatised version of the book was captivating, Although on first listen, it was a bit difficult to follow the different characters, but I soon tuned into them and the music and background noises are fantastic, giving an atmospheric feel and bringing to life the mood and pressures on the characters. The story immerses you into the diverse, multifaceted culture and history of India in the early 1950s, taking you into the world of four large extended families and an array of supporting characters from various sections of society. And at the centre of it all is Latta and her mother, who is trying to find a suitable boy for Latta to marry. Next up is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. This is a fast-paced, light-hearted adventure set in the 19th century. English gentleman Phileas Fogg sets up a, up a wager with his friends that he can travel the world in 80 days. The reward of winning is £20,000. Mr Fogg and his newly employed valet, Jean Passepoteau, set out on this voyage all around the world. London, Egypt, India, Hong Kong, Japan, United States and Liverpool, amongst other places. There are obstacles, mishaps and even some romance with the saving of Lady Alder. To complicate matters, a huge robbery happens in a bank and Scotland Yard Detective Fix mistakes Mr Fogg for the criminal. And so, unknown to Mr Fogg, there is a cat and mouse chase with Detective Fix following on their tails. My final audio suggestion is Nocturnes by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is a collection of five short stories about love, music, musicians and the passing of time. Ishiguro takes us to places like Italy, London, the Malvern Hills and Los Angeles. There is the meeting of different cultures and each of the stories share elements of yearning, regret, lost dreams and floundering relationships witnessed by a bystander. Some have laugh out loud moments and crucial moments in each story take place during evenings filled with memory, melancholy and fragile hope. Couples try to regain romance, and some triumph and some fail. Music is integral to these stories, triggering memories and feelings often forgotten, and also providing a way of connecting people. It's certainly an interesting read. I do hope these suggestions give you inspiration for your next read. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre and availability or browse in the RB Digital app. 
Do use the comments section below to add your own thoughts on these books or add suggestions of books about diverse lives you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital Collection, we will see if we can add them. And please do like this video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Your support and feedback is invaluable to us. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find under videos on this Facebook page or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Wing, Wing for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Happy reading or listening and see you soon. Bye.